Hi folks and welcome to AT Lab. This time a real electronic project, the three-phase inverter. In the video there will be the union of a three-phase inverter with a washing machine motor, with two versions and also the code for Arduino. Washing machine motors are easy to find, but there are many different models and with different supplies. The oldest are single phase induction motors, those that start only if a quite beefy capacitor is connected and that usually have at least two separate windings to run in slow speed and fast speed for the centrifuge. More modern motors are the universal brushed. These have a rotor that brings power via two brushes and can run on both AC and DC current, but they make noise from the brushes dragging. I'll talk about this electric motor in depth in an upcoming video. But in some washing machines, the more silent and modern ones, there are three-phase induction motors. You can recognize them because they look like motors with brushes, but having a look inside there aren't any brushes at all. Importantly, the label bears apparently strange indications. It reads a frequency that goes up to 310 Hz. Unlike other motors, such as the brushed ones, which report 50-60 Hz. Finally, they usually have five terminals, three for the phases and two for the taco sensor, which gives the motor revolutions. After opening the engine, as you can see, there are no brushes. Instead, there is a classic squirrel cage rotor, stuff discovered by the genius Nikola Tesla 100 years ago. And the stator is wound on a ferromagnetic core, just like an induction machine. The beauty of this engine is that there's no sliding parts and therefore when it runs it is totally silent. The bad thing is that to make it run and control it at home you necessarily need a three-phase inverter. Fortunately there are several motor inverters, also known as VFDs. One is the circuit that I made and I'll present in the next video. Or they are also available on the market ready for the use. I have this model in my hands, which is really easy to connect and use, and which you can buy from the links in the description. It must be connected to the 230 volt line and holds several kilowatts of motor. In output it generates the three phases that you connect to the motor terminals and that's it. It has several controls on the front panel or you can connect external buttons and a potentiometer for remote control. Anyway, once connected, the motor starts without problem. There's also a standing ramp and the motor revolution can be varied by acting on the frequency of the three output sinusoids. This type of inverter called variable frequency drive works by fixing the amplitude of the sinusoidal waves and acting on the frequency to adjust the motor speed. In particular, if the frequency increases, the motor speed increases as well, because it increases the angular velocity of the rotating magnetic field in the stator. Figured out how to hook up a three-phase motor and how a VFD inverter works, let's jump to the circuit I built. You will find a dedicated video soon. A three-phase pure sine wave inverter with six power MOSFETs driven by three drivers. It's finally time to dust everything off, so first thing I prepare everything I need on my bench including the totem to do some tests with Arduino. On Arduino the whole system is at the limit with management having only three timers available and having to use two to generate the three PVM signals for the three phases. So how to accomplish the task? Timer zero must serve to timing and is not recommended to add heavy tasks such as managing a display. I load the test version of the code on the Arduino on the totem and with the oscilloscope I go to check the generation of the PVM signals and the respective waveforms filtered with a simple RC filter. I control frequency and amplitude with two potentiometers and respective analog readings to avoid using an extra timer. It is very nice to see. If I zoom in on the time scale you see that the PVM signal is moving and indeed it seems very chaotic. This is because it continues to vary over time in order to produce the sine wave. 
In fact, if I carry out single acquisition, you will see the waveforms continue to change, presenting a different duty cycle, but the switching frequency is constant. Verify that everything responds to the command, I move the code over to the Arduino Nano on the inverter board. Before showing you how it works, I'll quickly comment on the code. In the void setup, first of all, I initialize the gates and in particular the digital outputs, which command the power stage and which generate the PVM signal. Then there are the timer 1 and 2 settings to generate a 31 kHz PVM signal by acting on the TCCR1B and TCCR2B registers. I leave you in the description a well-made guide on these registers. In the void loop the magic happens. Using the timer0 and the millis function to count the time, I modify the value of the PVM signal on the phases following an array field with the sinusoidal values. Consequently, the average value of the PVM signal represents a sinusoid. The one that can be seen using a low-pass filter like the RC1 that I showed you a moment ago. Using a timer zero interrupt will do the job as well. The rest of the code acts on the start button and the adjustment potentiometers. I can share the code to you if you are interested. Let me know in the comments or by email or on Patreon. I move on practical tests, so I take my isolated and variable power supply bank with which I can make tests using the oscilloscope without problems of short circuits on the ground. Again, first try with a star connected passive RC filter at the inverter output to observe the three phases, which this time are generated by the power stage. As you can see, small steps are visible. This is because the 8-bit Arduino timers guarantee only 256 values, and I had to use the millis function unlike an STM32 which has a several 16 and 32-bit timers. Therefore, much more resolution to play with. This generates subharmonics on the signals which, however, are contained and do not create problems for powering a motor. Having done the tests at different voltages, gradually increasing to verify that everything holds up, it is finally time to connect the washing machine three-phase motor to see how it behaves. I also prepare various tools to track the output voltage, input voltage, input current with a clamp meter and the engine RPM with my homemade tachometer to keep everything under control. As you can see, the bench is really full of instruments. I start the engine by acting on the potentiometer, gradually increasing the frequency and the amplitude, so has to take the engine revolution up. Feeding it at about 50 volts with a frequency of 100 Hz, the motor exceeds 500 RPM. As you can see from successful experiment and testing, the inverter is able to control the speed of the motor that I'm monitoring. By acting on the frequency of the sinusoidal waves, the rotation speed can be increased or decreased. This control is called variable frequency, while the amplitude is fixed once the engine has been started. Only thanks to you I can continue with this activity, so all your support is very helpful for me. You can subscribe the channel and visit my social media pages to see my recent activities. Stay tuned and see you soon!